Hey there, Overcomer. It's Melanie Cortijo here again. Just wanted to give you a word of encouragement on this special day. Um, those of you who know me know that God has given me the victory to overcome a, a bout with cancer, but I am here to pay it forward because I know that if God has done it with me, he can do it with you. Amen. And I just want to quickly share with you that recently, this last Saturday, I went to a conference where I ministered to some women and they did a tremendous blessing um, of a wonderful craft which is called katsuki it's a japanese uh, it's a japanese custom where they uh mend bowls broken bowls and plates and um uh, here's mine <laughs> they gave us a broken bowl this is my bowl it had um quite a bit of breaking and then this is the glue uh, the Japanese actually put gold and they celebrate the cracks. They don't throw away the pots and the pans and the plates that are broken. Um, instead, they mend it with glue that is gold encrusted. In my case, it's a, I wish it was gold, but it's <laughs> just some yellow glue. And it took quite a bit to get this together. And once I got it together a few times, I had to squeeze it. I had to hold it upside down. It was the best way that I found that I could keep it together while I you know and sometimes it just reminds you of how life can be and the there was one part here that was chipped and I couldn't get that part together because it was in so many little pieces that it could not be put together and what it was funny was that they asked us at the table um what can you do when uh, your bowl has a crack like that or a hole where you can no longer keep any more um liquid maybe in it uh, we had a friend of ours at our table who's had a hole right in the middle of the bowl, right in the bottom. And she's like, well, definitely won't be able to put a new soup in that bowl, but I'm choosing to use it in a different way. And she said she was going to use it as the bowl where she kept her promises. And she put um, verses in, in hers and kept it there for her to remember those verses and to um, keep it close to her nightstand. And just wanted to remind you that you know as an overcomer you need to keep celebrating through the process and one of the things that uh, you know we go through in life whether you're in the journey or you've gone through a journey and you feel like your life has been so um, changed because of your process maybe you've been through trials and tribulations of hurricanes of, of you know divorce maybe you're older and you feel like you don't have the energy that you once did or like me you might have gone through a cancer journey or another kind of uh, illness that has taken uh, weaken your physically we think we can you physically um, even in your mind and you're not the same as you used to be but I just want to encourage you today with this verse that I uh, received in 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 which reminds us that we are jars of clay in other words this is where God chooses like this bowl broken bowl like this the jar is where he chooses to place his glory he chooses to put in us it says here the all surpassing power uh, that is from God and that is not from us of course it is not from us to be able to become overcomers it is only through the power of his strength that we are and so powerful verse 8 it says that we might be hard-pressed we might uh, even be crushed and perplexed and we might be but we might be in all these things but we're not in despair we might be persecuted but we're not abandoned we might be struck down and not destroyed and I like verse 10 it says here that we carry around in our body the death of Jesus and and then it says this so that the life of Jesus might also be revealed in our bodies and when you look at this plate you would never think that it could carry anything that it's not worth anything it's worth throwing away but you know when God sees us and even if he sees us all full of different um, situations that have broken us in, in life he says you know what I can still use you and you are not only going to be used but I'm going to use you as my treasure to carry this all-powerful uh, this surpassing glory that is inhabited through Jesus Christ as he comes and becomes our Lord in Jesus Christ we can take all of his power his strength carry it in us and when God looks at us he doesn't see us as broken vessels he sees us as treasures so if on this day you're feeling a little broken weakened by your trial and maybe you feel struck down you feel destroyed and maybe you even feel abandoned just want to encourage you today that you can overcome and that um instead of seeing yourself as a broken vessel see yourself as a jar of clay a treasured 
jar of clay because that's how God sees you. And I want you to be encouraged today because you are an overcomer. God bless you. Take that word with you today. Amen.